hello, hello. Guess what? There's five Mondays in February. That means I can bring you five must-haves every single Monday, and I can call it Motherhood Monday. Motherhood. Motherhood. I'm teaming up with Tasha from TKB and family. I'll leave a link in the description below. I'm teaming up with her every Monday to bring you motherhood must-haves. Today's Monday, I'll be bringing you newborn must-haves. The number one must-have that you must have when you have a newborn is diapers and wipes. And I'm not using that as two, I'm using that as one. You definitely have to have diapers and wipes. And I'm a Costco Mama. member. That's right. And I've never been disappointed in any Costco brand Kirkland signature item. So currently I'm using diapers that are from Costco, Kirkland brand, and I'm using their wipes too, which I think are larger. They're fragrant, fragrant free. Um, it's a good wipe. I feel like it's the best wipe for my money. Uh, mama. Yes, sweet pea. Number two, newborn must have is definitely for me a pump because you got to feed your baby. So however it is, ladies, if you're breastfeeding and that works for you, that's absolutely wonderful. You won't need this. But for me, my must have for a newborn is a pump to pump my boobs and give my baby the best milk ever. Number three must have for a newborn would be zippered sleepers or zipper blanket infant outfits. You know, so they can't kick the blanket off no matter what because they're trapped inside. And it's different for every baby because with Sullivan, he loved to be swaddled. All like a stray jacket and a wombie was needed. Scarlet, on the other hand, she doesn't like to be swaddled at all. She kicks all night, so she kicks the blanket off. It's just really helpful at 3 a.m. to have a zipper instead of nine little bitty buttons. I mean, there's some really cute outfits with buttons, but zippers are the way to go, especially with a newborn, because you might be up at 3.25 a.m. Lack of sleep. It could be sad with buttons. Okay, my number four must have is a bouncer. I'm using the bouncer that I used with Sullivan, so this one's getting a lot of use. Um, but sometimes in, during the day when you're not holding your baby or you don't have your baby strapped to you, you might want to put her down to do the dishes. So I leave her in the bouncer. It's a great place. You can even lock her in because now she's rolling over. She could get away from you. But that newborn must have is a bouncer. Yeah. You need some place to put your baby. Okay. And number five, the last thing that you're going to need is a bin of receiving blankets. And I like the cotton ones. Even the ones that you get from the hospital are really nice because they're cotton and they're absorbent. Not all receiving blankets are the same, and I would say you're going to need several. So get a little basket and roll them up and have at least 12 on hand every day. I hope everyone had a fantastic day, and I definitely want you to check out Tasha from TKB and Family. She's also doing motherhood must-haves, so check us out. Okay, I'm sending lots of love. Bye. Bye. Yep. Say, I'll see you next Monday. Bye. Say, bye. Bye. Can't reach it. You can't reach it. Um, 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 um,